Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time.
Here we go. CSAT network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Ashiel. She's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. This move may provoke retaliation. Well, that's an understatement. If she's inside, she's in trouble. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? The Counselor could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Thank. did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Security doors have been sealed for your protection. None yet.
We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Bailey, looks like they got the Executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn. All right, keep searching. If you don't see the Counselor's body, don't count her out yet. Found her. She looks unharmed. Get her somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. I mean Udina. He's staging a coup. The other counselors are headed for a trap. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the Council. Get the word out. Udina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the Counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there.
Shepard, my instruments say your car stopped. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the Council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the Council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shepard Plaza. Dean is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. I'm on my way. They don't like to hold still, do they? It's Shelmar Plaza. Where's the council? In an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. I'm in the shack.
He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conflict beneath it. Good riddance. Did you feel that? Gunman, get down! Shepard's blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You'll never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No, you're not. Udina. Step back from the console. To hell with this! Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Then it's true. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor. I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Then I owe you, Shepard. For our lives, and for brokering a deal with the Primarch and the Krogan that I never could. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Shepard, do you have any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly, no. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it!
Yes. Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's den. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus. If you want to see him, uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know. Make things easier for him. Spectre status recognized. shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neota spouse, correct? I... Yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. That's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I, I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet, and Asari worlds will keep burning. Now arriving. 
nothing at Whip. No, I'm saving your hospital. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. Welcome to Serta. If we could get the rings of a moon, this will be a nebula. We could declare a Be safe. <laughs> We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keprel's syndrome. At its worst, Keprel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard. My father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. <sighs> that assassin should be embarrassed. <sighs> A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalihira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalihira and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Koyat. What 
the last verse say she? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice thing. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patients. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations, to get more supplies, for those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. The galaxy can't keep us apart. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. Is there anything on your mind? We'll talk later. I'm sure. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. you got there duty roster for the students it's what I do for fun now they've got us spread out across Alliance units reinforcing barriers modding ammo that kind of thing how are they holding up they are fine they're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave complain if you like but I think military life suits you hey running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream not mine Come on. Plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. 
It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and eating? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Status recognized. Please select one moment. 